So what is your name? Hi, my name is Roman Victor C. Burgos. My name is Luis Gilbert E. Mendoza. And we're here to discuss and talk about video game genres, serious and educational. So, welcome to the Yummy Club. So, what is a serious game or educational game? To start with, in my thoughts, when we hear serious game, anyone get confused of what serious game really is because people never heard or thought about the term serious in video games because concept of the games or video games in popularity are for entertainment purposes and to consume time. But back in the day, the first serious game known was used to train soldiers and to simulate real battle scenario for strategic benefit. Serious games were often less entertaining than other subgenre, and serious game was technically affiliated to educational genre because they are both purposely help players to learn new sets of skills, information, and knowledge as they play through, and more likely to be less violent than other genre. So, what makes serious and educational games serious and educational games? The genre is defined by the game having secondary or incidental educational value. It simulates realistic scenarios and makes the player learn more depth towards a specific subject. It is supposed to stimulate cognitive growth and give outcomes towards what the player has learned. For example, Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 more specifically teaches you how to fly an airplane which could be either a Boeing A320 to F-22 jet planes or even the smaller fan-propelled airplanes. You learn how to land a plane, how you should communicate with others, for example the watchtower and how you should communicate, what altitude you should be in so that you could have a smoother flight or be able to take off and land on a runway easier. Now, let's talk about history. Before the appearance of video games, the idea of serious game was originally came from old board games and military games like Dice, Chess, Monopoly, Scrabble, Yonic Spiel, War Games, and other family board games. Their game mechanics are simulating how military and politics work. In 1981, a simulation tool known as the Bradley Trainer was developed for the American Army to train new recruits on how to operate Bradley tank. This application was developed by a team from Atari and was based on the Battlezone arcade game, which is believed to be the first virtual reality arcade game. Leapfrog Enterprises introduced the Leap Pad, which combine an interactive book with a cartridge and allow kids to play games and interact with a paper-based book. Based on the popularity of traditional handheld gaming systems like Nintendo's Game Boy, they also introduced their handheld gaming system called the Leapster in 2003. This system was cartridge-based and integrated arcade-style games with educational content. Now these are some games that shaped the world. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Steel Factor that, Laboratory, uh, A Force More Powerful, The Four Is Dying. These titles are simply game-based learning that are well known for their gameplay influence, realistic features, and had serious impact on society. Presently, so-called gamification gained attention in some circles. Gamification mainly use simple reward systems that are supposed to engage users in activities. It's inspired by Boy Scout badges and actually implements badging systems. Core features It should reach a certain level of realism to the point that it mimics real-life aspects such as physics, geographical accuracy, and the such. The perspective is usually in first person, meaning you see it from the person's eyes. Although, there are some games, such as puzzle games, which give educational value, but are not necessarily in first person. The core feature forces the person to imbue critical thinking and immense use of creativity, which leads to the player learning about what they are trying to do and give an experience that helps the player learn more. The core features may seem like it's a realistic action-adventure game, but it still weighs more when it comes to educational learning in secondary value. Target neutralized. The genre is usually as is, not really much happening at the moment except for the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, 
which happened just three or four months ago on August 18, 2020. The genre seems like it still is going to be like this, although people are trying to develop the use of this genre to create more educational value, which could help with schools such as for aviation to help pilots learn more in different ways. They could also extend the game development stage to VR, which helps us be more immersed as one of the most immersive ways to play video games. Minecraft Simply the well-known pixelated sandbox game and win multiple awards as the top greatest game of all time over a decade. The game gained its popularity through internet trends like memes, pop culture, and through multiple gaming communities that helped increase its player counts over years. But how is it count as a serious game? Although the game has some fantasy fiction concept within it and others treat it as a childish game. Well, because people only see it as a casual game, like any other sandbox game. But Minecraft can be reliable for developing minds of young children. More importantly, the game helps the players to use their imagination, ideas, and creativity effectively as they play. Through the game, players have the freedom to use and gather resources, destroy and build blocks or structure, breed and farm animals and plants, and freedom to explore the world infinitely. Recently, the developers added educational game web features on the game, which is very useful to help education systems efficiency. Some schools on different countries use Minecraft for educating because it makes it interesting and engaging for younger students. If you play Minecraft more seriously, there are some similarities when you try to do this in real life. For example, when building structures on Minecraft, you want to start with the foundation of your building first, as it helps you guide in building the rest of your structure. In real life, you start with the foundation to be able to help support whatever you add in the latter part, such as putting steel before making it into concrete. In Minecraft, it's better to also build with schematics, while in real life, it's a must to build with schematics. Plants also need water. You need a pair of each animal to grow about, which is healthy. Minecraft also has redstone engineering, which is their own version of electronics engineering. Minecraft is a must mention for educational games genre, as it really does a good job in developing children's minds. Microsoft Flight Simulator is one of the most well-known video games in the series game genre for 38 years. It is pretty obvious why is it on the top of the list in this genre, because the game itself was astonishingly outstanding as it simulates realistic flighting experience for players even without the skill of a pilot. The accuracy of its realistic flight experience even with 8 or 16-bit computer graphics back then was quite relaxing gameplay for many people. Currently, Microsoft Flight Simulator still releases their latest version of the game. Like how other games evolve, Flight Simulator also gained more better improvements over time as it improves gameplay experience with improved graphics, atmosphere, and a larger landscape to explore. What makes Microsoft Flight Simulator good is that it uses photogrammetry which renders the map for the game. It uses Bing Maps data which is basically their own version of Google Maps and that's what makes the game more realistic in a geographical side. Being called serious in educational games, this also poses a lot of problems. Games are supposed to be entertaining, it's a hobby, and also a time passer for other people. But being serious in educational games, it becomes something that also doesn't entertain you. It becomes something like a job or something that doesn't make you happy. Up until someone says to wash the dishes, then well, it becomes a chore, and chores are boring. There is no quick solution to this. There is no silver bullet for serious and educational games, which makes the genre have this kind of issue. The future of the genre is very promising. Especially with the current developing technologies like VR and AR, it really can stretch out the current genre. There are VR games that help you in certain things such as public speaking which you don't develop easily if you try to do it in real life because you really have to do public speaking to learn how to do public speaking. But since we have VR, we can technically train public speaking to a virtual audience which could also be users and could also not be users. The future of the genre is very fruitful as there are so many possibilities and technology is the only thing that is holding the genre back. The genre is very promising in the future.